I just got paid for the first time to fly my drone and take pictures. In this video, I'll show you how it all happened, what I did for the job, how long it took, but most importantly, how much I got paid. If you happened to watch one of my last videos, you might remember that I bought this drone, the Air 3, so that I can start a drone business. Originally, I wanted to start with FPV drones, but realized I'd have to actually start with camera drones first and build a reputation and use FPV as an upsell, and then eventually use FPV as my main source of income. In the last video, I'd mentioned I'd been practicing with this drone. I flew some more days and even flew downtown to get the sunset and some night photography along with hyperlapses. I thought these actually turned out okay, so I posted them to Facebook and Instagram. That comes important later. At the same time, my mom was attending a Bible study and apparently was showing what I had posted to other people in the group. One of the people who attended was a real estate agent, and it turns out he was looking for a photographer. So my mom gave him my contact information and said I can do drone photography for him. I have to admit, I was pretty nervous when she told me that she had done this because I still feel like a beginner. I don't really have professional standards and I definitely don't have a portfolio. But sure enough, a few days later on a Monday morning, the real estate agent called me and tried to set up a meeting to see what I could do. We decided on a third Thursday morning at Starbucks. When we hung up, I was pretty excited because I had just got my first lead, but I was actually really nervous because I didn't have any portfolio and no pictures of houses. As someone who plans to deal with realtors, you would think I'd have pictures of an actual house, but no, I had nothing. Jimmy, give me a cheese with nothing. Nothing. So this left me with three days to build a portfolio. I knew that same night I was going over to someone else's house for my own Bible study, so I asked if I could come over early and take pictures with my drone. They said yes, so I went over early to practice. I didn't know anything about residential photography, so I watched some YouTube videos on it. The biggest thing I learned was to use the AEB mode, which is basically HDR. It takes five pictures from really overexposed to get the shadows right, and really underexposed to get the highlights right, and then you combine them later in a the software to make it look like the whole image is properly exposed. The next day, I took those photos and combined them in Luminar Neo. I bought this software because it was cheaper than Lightroom and had some other AI features that I figured would help me as a beginner. The next two days, I worked to compile the best shots into a video to show the agent and also research what to charge. I looked at my local market and also nationwide, but didn't really come up with a clear answer. I didn't feel comfortable charging too high because I didn't really have professional standards yet and was still a beginner, but I also didn't want to charge too low where it didn't really make sense. I figured for my first few jobs, I would charge between $75 and $150. We met up Thursday morning at Starbucks where the agent had told me that he had been using another photographer who did both drone and interior, but he wasn't working anymore. I told the agent that I can only do drone photography and he said that can work. Thankfully, they have an in-house photographer who can do the interior house pictures. I showed him my videos and some pictures of the house I had taken earlier. I even showed him some of my FPV footage in case he wanted that in the future. At the end, he was like, Hey, that's pretty good. He then showed me a house that he might get a listing for coming up soon. He said, if I go take pictures of this house and he likes them, when he actually gets the listing, then he would use me for the photography. I said, of course I do a test run. It seemed like that was that, but as we were about to leave, he asked what I had charged for other jobs. I was just honest and said this would actually be my first job, but based on the market and what I've seen other people do, I'd say $100 for edited pictures. He didn't even bet an eye and said, I can make that work. The next day when the snow had stopped, I went to the house, took pictures, edited them, and sent him off to the agent. The next day he got back to me and said he liked the pictures and would use me for when he got the listing. Ten days later, I got a call from him and said he was ready for me to take pictures of the house when the snow had melted. So let's see what I did. I did vlog this, but it's honestly not that interesting, so I'll do a quick summary. The only picture the agent specifically requested was one of the house and a school behind it. Everything else he left up to me. I basically started from the front and worked my way around back. I got pictures of the entrance, some top down, sides, basic stuff like that. The backyard of the house has a pool, and because it was still winterish time, it looked nasty. But it's a really What's good that? selling point, so I still had to get pictures of it. I took some more top-down shots, and then flew pretty far back so I could get the house and the Mount Spokane in the background. I wasn't totally sure if the agent would like it, but eventually it got put into the listing. I ended with a few shots of the property and the school in the background. Overall, it took me one hour to take the pictures, and then I headed home. I'll speed up the editing process here. Basically, I would take the five pictures from overexposed to really underexposed and combine them in the HDR mode. Then at the end, I would edit one picture really well and copy those edits across everything else. Next, I would go through each individual picture and do a few little touch-ups to make it look better. I took the best edited photos, which was about 20, and uploaded those to Google Drive. There were two shots that focused on, on the school and Mount Spokane, 
and with those I put a red outline around the property. I didn't tell the agent I would do this, but I was hoping it would be useful. If you used it, great. If not, I didn't really care. I then emailed the photos to the agent and thought I was done. He texted and said the photos were great and then asked me to send him an invoice so he could pay me. I don't have an invoice, so I made one up. I used a Google Sheets template and changed a few things to make it look like mine. I added a net 30, which just means they can pay me within the next 30 days. It is a deadline for them, but it adds a lot of flexibility. I sent that off and was just waiting for a response. A few days later, I got a message that the listing was live and a Venmo for $120. Now I was only expecting 100 because that's what I quoted, but he said I had done such a great job and was willing to give me 20 extra bucks. He said he would like to use me for his next listing, and if it was a big house, then I could do an FPV fly through as well. Fingers crossed. So that's how I got my first drone photography client and got paid 120 bucks. The shoot was one hour and it took one hour to edit the photos. If you break that down, I got paid $60 an hour. That's pretty good. The next major step is to create an actual business and I'll continue to document that here. If you wanna see where this all started, this playlist shows you. Or this one is a video YouTube recommends. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.